some people are saying that this may, in fact, wind up, you may wind up with a Republican-controlled Senate, and it will be because of Obamacare. First, I'd say we believe we're going to keep the Senate. I do think that the Republican argument of repeal is a political loser. What they are arguing now is that the 7 million people who signed up through the exchanges and the millions more who got it from Medicaid and other ways, they're going to take health care away from all of those people. That's not a good argument to make. That was White House Senior Advisor Dan Pfeiffer saying he's confident that Democrats will keep the Senate, but we've already seen the negative impact of Obamacare on Democrats in the midterm election. So how is the GOP planning to use Obamacare going into November, if at all? Joining us right now from Ohio, Senator Rob Portman. Senator, welcome. Brian, thank you. Good to so, be on with you. Your uh, officer uh, ma management and budget to getting things going for the yeah. President Bush, too. So, Senator, is it a political loser in November? Well, the, the polls are very clear. Uh, I saw something on Real Clear Politics saying that 111 consecutive polls have said that Obamacare is viewed unfavorably, not favorably. And there's a good reason for it. Costs are going up and people are losing their choices of health care and providers. So, no, it's, it's not popular. And particularly in the Senate seats that are up this year, uh, it's pretty unpopular. And that's one of the things you're doing on the Senate side. You're trying to get uh, a majority in the Senate on the Republican right. side. How are you going to do it? Well. Frankly, we've got the math in our favor and the map in our favor. There are a lot of Republican uh, states that are up right now that have Democrat senators, and so we should do very well in the election. But look, it's, it's going to depend on good candidates. I think we have some great candidates and what the mood of the country is. And right now, you know, people are discouraged about the economy, as they should be. It has not turned around, and they're very concerned about Obamacare and how it's going to affect them and their families. So, uh, Senator, you're not one to sit idly by. What is your plan uh, going forward? Well, I, I loved hearing this stuff about, you know, Republicans want to repeal Obamacare. Actually, we want to repeal and replace Obamacare. In other words, we have a better way, uh, and that's to provide more coverage to people, but do it in a way where people can choose their health care provider, you know, what doctor they want to go to, where people can actually have but lower costs rather than higher exchanges? costs. they choosing exchanges? Well, no, you, you, a lot of people are losing the ability to go to the doctor they have now. I mean, I, I did a teletown hall last week in Ohio, and I heard the same thing I'm hearing all the time from my constituents, which is, hey, and not only am I paying more, but sure. I can't go to the hospital but, I used to go to, the doctor I used to go to. So. And when Democrats say, you know, the, 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 they're saying now, uh, mend it rather, you know, then end, th it. Th yeah. end it or defend it. When the, when the uh, Democrats say, well, I'm trying to fix it, yeah. that's a bogus argument because Harry Reid won't even bring it up for no, a vote he, in no, your chamber. Won't. And, and there's no proposal out there from the Democrats to actually fix it. To, to, to be able to fix it would be great for my constituents. You know, a lot of us have promoted this idea of at least give us a delay of one year sure. on the individual mandate. And even that they won't do. So, no, we, we, we need a new approach that actually is consistent with getting costs down. Right. Uh, you know, strengthening health uh, care accounts. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And also the frivolous lawsuits, cracking yeah. down on them. Yeah. And we were seeing some of the bullet points more while you were talking before. More yeah. competition between yeah. uh, different uh, different Require insurance, insurance companies to compete, compete for our business. You know, just, and, and by the way, there's some examples of that. If you look at how health savings accounts have worked, uh, if you even look at Medicare Advantage, which they're trying to cut right now, unbelievably. These are private plans in, in Medicare. Very popular. Yeah, they're very but, popular. Hey, listen, uh, the Senator, uh, flat out, it's going to be decided in everyone's kitchen table. If it's working yeah. for them, yeah. it's going to be a loser for Republicans. If it's not working, it's going to be a winner for Republicans. Yeah, I think you're right, and I think the economy plays in this big, too. Senator, great to see you. Great to see you guys. Thank you very much. All right. See you, See you soon. See you, Brian. Coming up straight ahead, uh, she's only in the sixth grade, but wait until you hear how this Girl Scout is 